back up a little bit so you can see everything here. I've got the little sponges that go in the grow cups. Have to get these wet first. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. So got them in, they're in the water. Get them wet. Give them a few minutes to soak up stuff. So while they're soaking in there, I have the cups that they're going to fit in here. And they look like this. And they're going to go in this tray, which is the top of the unit. So I put the cups in here. Okay, so I've got my 12 cups, I've got my sponges, they're all nice and wet, they're soaked, so I put my sponges in the cups. So now I've got my unit, my 12 sponges, and 12 cups in the unit. So I get one of my push rods. And a pair of tweezers. Now all of this comes with the system. There's my tweezers, my seeds. Now I let the seeds get wet, they soaked. So I'm going to put a seed down in each cup, each sponge. Now I don't get 100% germination rates. So anything that hasn't sprouted in a couple of days time, I will get another seed and sprout it again. Depending on the seed stock that you're using, you'll get sprout rates of between 50 and 90 percent typically. Okay, so I've got one seed in each cup. Some people put two or three seeds in each cup and then take the time to thin them out afterward. I just put one in each cup and if I get a non-sprout, I just reseed it. And I just use the little push rod to push the seed down into the cup. <clears throat> so now I have the opening here and I have to put in about six liters of water. <clears throat> Thank you. 
and the hole is great if you have um, something with a small nozzle. I don't. So I'm just going to lift this up and pour the water directly into the tank. Another one. <coughs> On the side, over here, you can see the fill gauge. So I'm about four and a half liters, so I got to stick in a couple liters more to fill it all the way up. So there we are, our water's full. So we'll put our seeds back in. We have a little cup to cover the hole, but before I do, I've already pre-mixed my two-part A and B solution for hydroponic plant food. And I have to put in two capfuls so it's hard to see on here, but each cap is about 15 milliliters. So I'll put in 15 mils of each and I'll top it up again in about a week's time. I had these pre-mixed because they come as solid pellets and it takes, I usually let them put them in the container, shake them up well and leave them sit overnight to make sure they're, they're fully dissolved and there's no grit bits in there that'll muck up the pump. So it's all done. I cap it. I, on here, I'm looking for little plastic cups. Here we go. No, I have, wait a second, I have to get the little cup. These little clear plastic cups go over top the whole, go over top the cones, and it helps keep the humidity and heat in for the seeds while they're starting to grow. Once they've sprouted and they get to the four leaf stage, you can take the little plastic covers off. But for germination, this helps to keep them warm and keep the humidity up when you're starting to grow. Okay, so there it's all ready to go. Here's my power supply that'll power the pump and the lights. And they don't take up much space. They'll grow just about anywhere. So I've got a little tiny table 
sitting down here. Now be careful with this because it's a tad bit heavy um, because it's got six and a half liters of water in it, which weighs about six and a half kilos or about 15 pounds when it's fully loaded. Plug it in. Turn it on. Now I want to set the clock and I want to set my automatic on off. So to set my clock, set my clock. Eleven nineteen Okay, now to set my start time. Well, oh, not gonna let me do it. Okay, so we've got our lights are on, the pump is running, and that's it. It's automatic. The lights come on at five in the morning, they go off at 10 at night. And this is now day four on this one. These are Tom Thumb tomatoes. And as you can see, they're starting to sprout and grow really well. They're looking happy. And starting to stretch up. So I've got one, two, it looks like about four that didn't sprout. So there's four of them that I'm going to have to reseed. And that's day four. And that's it. We're all finished for now.